officially good morning you guys more like sort of afternoon it's about 11 o'clock i've already been up for hours and hours but i just now decided to pick up the camera and start filming this vlog i'm honestly not a morning person you guys probably couldn't tell from all the energy i put out in my videos but in the mornings i do need a while before i'm actually fully functioning i was originally gonna do a chatty get ready with me and tell you guys all about what's going on where we're going but every time i sat down to film it just couldn't happen i tried filming about three times scrapped it each time and just i didn't feel it i think it's because everything is so chaotic right now the house is a mess half of our stuff is in boxes everything else is kind of laid out everywhere in the house because i'm organizing in piles to put into boxes so it's cluttered and it just it fogs up my head and i just feel in this weird space where i have a creative block at the moment and it's just so messy and disorganized i'm just like ah i can't film at this moment a get ready with me my head's just elsewhere I picked it up and i didn't even take a sip so i figured i'd just start the vlog i'll fill you guys in right now we are going from southern california out here in the desert up to the bay area i'm really excited and i have lived in the bay area in the past and then we moved to southern california and we've been there like most of my life and it's pretty funny because about three years ago my parents moved back up there so they are up there and we're going about 50 minutes from where my parents are, which is so exciting. At the moment where we live at now, they have been about eight hours away by car trip, so we're gonna be super close to them. It's gonna be so nice. But yeah, we're prepping to move. We got the word that we were gonna move a month out. It's just been like, go, go, go right now. We don't even have a place up there. It's intense. We are getting the truck this weekend. It's currently Tuesday. We're planning to get the truck on Saturday and be out the house by, what is that, the 15th or something like that? That way we have some time to settle in up there. We need to look for a place. Luckily, since my parents are out there so, so, so close, they are allowing us to stay in the guest bedroom while we look for a place, figure out what we wanna do, what our game plan is. So the current game plan is pack up the house, get up there, put our stuff into storage, and stay with my parents while we look for a place which i'm so thankful to them for my dad's actually flying out on friday he's gonna help us drive up the truck because we have a couple vehicles and we can only tow one but yeah that is the fill-in on what is happening i am actually gonna be packing up my beauty room today and i thought i would show you guys the behind the scenes process of it and that way you can also see what my setup has been a lot of you guys requested a beauty room tour and I never did one because my beauty beauty room is not an official beauty room. I set my stuff up in here, but this is officially our guest bedroom. I'm about to turn you guys around so you can see it, but I just plop myself up in a corner, set some lights up, my desk, my pink coffin, and transformed it into a little section. This is the official beauty room <laughs> so here's the behind the scenes look it is a hot mess right now i haven't cleaned it please ignore that we're gonna clean together but here's my setup with the desk the lights you you guys are usually up there i have my cabinets back there that store all of my makeup and here is the pink coffin and here's the secret guys I have wallpaper on just this section of the wall. So just where you guys see it's pink, but everywhere else it looks like that. <laughs> but yeah, so here's the section I took up and then here is the guest bed. It is a hot mess right now because we pulled everything out of the closet. It's organized in my mind. I just need to get it into boxes. And uh, we're actually gonna be giving this bed away to Brian's mom. Um, the Bay Area, if you don't know, is extremely, extremely expensive. So we're unsure at this time if we are gonna have a second bedroom to even put this into. Um, we're gonna figure that out. We're toying with the idea of renting or possibly buying when we're up there, but we don't know. So we're gonna give that away. If we do happen to get a second bedroom, then while we're up there, I will have an official recording room then because we won't have a guest room why won't you focus camera there we go all right but let me give you a quick tour so this is a hot mess 
absolutely disgusting. Why am I such a hot mess right now? That's gonna be cleaned. This is a bit of a makeup section. I have some new makeup over here. I am gonna be doing a giveaway. If it's not in this one, it's gonna be in probably the next video. It just depends, you know, with the move and everything, if I'm gonna be able to mail something out. But yeah, future giveaway coming up very soon. And I wanna give you guys a sneak peek in my drawers because we all love to see some makeup collections. So this is my highlighter slash blush drawer. I got my bronzers and concealers. Hold on, let me turn on these lights. One second. I just realized you guys are in the dark. There we go. Bronzers, contours, and concealers are in this one. I got lipsticks in here. Got some liquid lippies in here. This is so unorganized. I just threw this organizer in here because I had this originally somewhere else in the house saw it and I was like, ooh, put that for my liquid lips. So this is an Ikea storage thing. There's no point in organizing it now since it's about to go in a box, but an Ikea hack here if you guys need a quick trick for your lippies. Of course, it'll look better when, it or when it's organized. Foundations down here. Just organized it with these little containers that I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They both have them. But that was foundation and powders. Here is my high-end palettes. Goes all the way down. Whoops. My drugstore palettes. We have a random drawer which contains some liquid shadows. I have some cleaning supplies. I just cleaned my brushes, so they're up there. This is actually glitter. Um, more single, or more liquid shadows, glitters, single shadows, some samples I've been hoarding. We got the primer drawer, so face primers, eyeshadow primers, lip primers, lip balms glue for if I glue down my brows for Halloween looks and my lash slash mascara slash liner slash brow drawer. This one is also a mix of a bit of everything. I don't know, I feel like if I limit myself to just these two drawers, it doesn't feel as bad, but then I have that whole stash coming up there. So game plan today is to clean organize everything into their proper drawers. That way everything is together, nothing is mix matched. And then I'm gonna put everything in a box. So I'm gonna prop you up on the side and you guys can just see the magic happen. So let's do this. I might play some music because I'm gonna be watching The Office as I do this. It's my motivational TV shows that I always watch no matter what I'm doing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right to it. Yeah, here we go. Clean side of the beauty room. The other side of the room is still a mess that needs to get organized and put in boxes, but now my desk is finally clean. Oh man, she looks so much prettier. And this side is organized once more. It's not a giant stack mess. Clean the drawers so they're no longer all smudgy. Makeup residue, all of that is gone. Um, this coffin shelf for the most part is 
kind of organized. I have a random section down there that is like giveaway slash family pile. Some of it's new makeup, some of it's makeup that I've used that is going straight to family. Um, but this is for the most part organized enough for me to choose what is going into what box. But now that everything is clean and organized, I'm going to be able to put everything into boxes. So I'm going to grab a couple boxes from the garage and uh, let's pack up some makeup. I think I'll put you guys back over here because this was a good angle. my gosh there we go my entire makeup collection inside of three medium boxes well the last one is a mix of quite a lot of things it's makeup hair care skincare and some nail polish thrown in there and my makeup brushes still quite a lot of makeup you know more than the average person it's kind of ridiculous if this has taught me one thing is that number one soon as i get somewhere to set up and film again I need to do a declutter because <laughs> I have too much makeup and a giveaway is also coming, but I'm gonna have to figure that out once we actually get over up to my parents and I can unbox some of this stuff and look through it. I just don't have enough time right now. It's crunch time, we're getting things together. So giveaway is coming. It'll just probably be in the next couple of videos. I will announce it in the community tab but she is empty over here from all the makeup. I just have my random little sculptures here. I have a microscope. I was planning to do some fun microscope videos, but with the move and everything, I never got around to it. Maybe once I get settled, I'll dive into that, but it's all empty. These are gonna get their own separate box since these are delicates. Okay, but I'm exhausted. I got started at 11. It's now 118. Took me about two hours. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I need to make myself some lunch, some more coffee because this is just a teensy part of the packing process. There's still so much left of the house. I have to pack up the other, the, <laughs> the other half of this room now, which is the guest bedroom part. This was just my section that I thought would be the most interesting to you guys. I'll show you guys as much of the packing as possible, but let's face it, packing is kind of boring. So I'll probably show you guys more interesting parts. So yeah. I will uh, see you guys in a little bit when I update you next. This is gonna be a week long vlog. So I'll update you guys what day it is, what time it is and all that when I see you next. Cause we got a week to do this. Week to make it happen. Rock and roll. It's been a few days guys. We have just been packing away in the house. I didn't think it was exciting enough to include in the vlog. But last night, my dad from the airport, say hello to the vlog! Hi vlog! So yeah, my dad came down to help us out with the move and everything like that. And we're taking the day today to go visit Amboy. He's been really wanting to go see it, so we're on the road right now. And I figured I should you guys along with us for the excitement. Got some snacks on the way. There's no gas for 90 miles in there, so you need your snacks, you need your gas. And, uh, yeah. Let's go! First stop, this is the temperature outside. 112.
Look at him. I'll beep if anything goes wrong. a lot smaller than people would think. It just consists of a couple of places. The number one is Roy's Motel and Cafe. Breaking Bad situation out here. Get your shot on me. I'm just kidding, it's really windy. Or was it a ghost? Was it a ghost? I don't know. Oh, this one's got a chair, a desk, and a bed. I think someone's made this their home. Worship Saint Santa? Interesting choice. <laughs> Interesting choice of decor. Wouldn't you say? I feel like they painted over the walls where it was a lot of creepy writing. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's one of them. But that's someone just writing it. Help me, please. Go back. It says wait. look up. Oh. I don't see anything. See anything up there? No. Oh man, it is so hot outside. I feel myself turning to a crisp. My legs are too pale for this. Oh no, it's a dead bird. Yeah, let's turn out of this one. Man, I am melting, but that was Amboy. A quick little stop. It's so hot outside, I think it actually raised a degree. It's now 113 outside, so you can't stay outside there for long at all. But we're gonna head back now, pick up some ribs. It's moving day! I'm so excited. We picked up the truck this morning. We have almost everything packed up. The entire house is getting ready to go into the U-Haul. So excited. We are currently battling the heat though because it's a hundred something degrees. This is supposed to be the hottest day out here. I'm already dying and sweating. I have no makeup on because I would just melt in this weather, but we are getting ready to go now. I'm so excited. The other night that I left you guys off at, we had just had some ribs. We were watching Limitless. Highly recommend to binge it. And we just 
stayed up really late cleaning the house because we had to get everything ready. We are just renting this place, so we have to leave it spotless. But yeah, I'm excited. So let's pack up the truck here. We're trying to get that onto that. This will be exciting. had to stop recording there for a second. It was getting so hot outside. My camera was heating up. I was dying. I was using a lot of footage. That actually took us a lot longer than I expected us to. I was thinking like, oh, you know, no big deal. We'll get done in a couple hours. It'll be nothing. So far, we have been going strong for about five hours, and I'd say we're halfway done. We have the big stuff in the truck at this point all of the giant pieces of furniture but we still have the garage full of boxes now that we need to stack up but we took a quick break because oh shoot i'm getting sunburned just walking back and forth Ugh. um distracted yeah we had to take a break because we were dying it, it was so hot today i think it was 109 110 today so it was hot to be moving around and doing all this we're gonna roll into probably tomorrow because it's starting to get late now yeah i'd rather drive tomorrow when it's earlier just because where we're going is about eight hours away so i'd rather not be driving until like three four in the morning if we're able to because we still have the house until the end of the month technically we just want to be out fast so we have the time might as well take it but yeah that's the update on our truck i honestly got a little bit nervous thinking we might not have had enough room i almost made us get a smaller truck and then brian's like let's go for the giant one and i'm like no we're not gonna need it we're not gonna use it and he keeps saying i told you so because all of this is left Ooh and one more bed. So yeah, we're gonna pause here, finish up tomorrow, and then we're gonna hit the road and move on out of this place. I'm so excited. I will update you guys when something else exciting happens. Now I'm just gonna sit down and relax because I'm exhausted and clearly sunburned. We're finally on the road. Very excited. Look at that sight on his face. Oh yeah. <laughs> she looks so unexcited. Not excited, Jordan. It's gonna be an eight hour road trip. Woo! Ah, uh, the road from the U-Haul. Leaving this desert behind us. And you wonder why we're moving. So just our luck, as we were rolling, 
through the freeway at that, we ended up getting a flat and just, just look at this, we got two flats. Here's the first one, seemingly not that bad, right? Not too shabby. Just wait till you guys see the other one. Jesus Christ. We are now waiting by our giant truck because, well, we have to wait for roadside assistance. That's gonna take probably an hour. And we still have like six hours to go. We only got went two hours so far. So, yeah. Needless to say, we're having fun out here. <laughs> oh yeah, finally we got ourselves someone out here to fix it. It's all propped up. It's a one-stop shop for a trailer. All fixed up. Both sides. We are good to go! Still just cruising, but look at that sunset. Ignore the dirty windshield. made it we have actually been here for almost a day now i ended up forgetting to check in with you guys we arrived super late at night it was 1 30 in the morning and we still unloaded some of our stuff i didn't even think about grabbing the camera and updating you guys it was pitch black outside but finally we made it and we actually unloaded the truck today we got ourselves a storage unit and all of that and i felt like that wasn't really exciting you guys don't want to see us moving into a storage unit for the time being so i think this is where i'm gonna wrap up the vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with us for this move seeing the excitement of our tire being blown and all of that i'm just happy this is over with and we can relax for a little bit until we have to do this all over again <laughs> when we find a place up here i'm definitely thinking i'm gonna have to do more vlogs for you guys because this was really fun taking you guys along with me i might do some house hunting vlogs when the time comes if you guys are interested in seeing those let me know down below but this is me saying goodbye don't forget to hit the like button if you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!